How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're having a battle versus Blitzer in the Smogon Overused tier and I'm challenging myself today. I'm using a mono colour team and today's colour is blue. Whether you think Chandler's blue or not is completely up to you, but it is to me. So, you know, stick around till the end for a bonus battle. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Blitzer. So they're going to lead off with Quagsire as I led off with my Chandler. The reason I led off with Chandler is because I thought they would lead with either this thing or the um, Iron Treads to stop the Glimora. But it looks like they haven't done that. So I I'm just going to Energy Ball this thing in the face. I don't see any reason not to. They might get a free switch into Dragapult or the Cinderace, but you know, it's fine. It's chip damage at the end of the day. So they withdraw the Quagsire. What are they going to go into to take a Energy Ball? Probably, I would guess, Gardevoir. Interesting one, because I could have easily gone for a Shadow Ball there, but I probably wouldn't have done because obviously I'd be trying to, you know, do some stuff to the uh, the Quagsire. But they go, we go for an Energy Ball. Let's see if how much chip damage that does to the Gardevoir. Not much, really, but, you know, it's still damage at the end of the day. So what we can do now is because they no, they don't normally run Shadow Ball, but they can have Mystical Fire. So I'm leaning towards uh, expecting a moon, uh, not a moon, that's a Psychic. So I want to go into either Metagross or Salamence. I don't think they go for a Moon Blast because we might not be choice for all they know. Um, so I'm going to go into Metagross. I think Metagross is a fine switch because we can definitely take a Mystic Fire anyway. And then we can retaliate with a Bullet Punch, so that'll be fine. So let's go into Bot, like so. There we go. They go for a Psychic, but it's going to bounce right off my Metagross, obviously being four times resisted. Does no damage. Um, now, we can probably expect them to either switch out into... I'd say they go Gyarados here. I'd say they go Gyarados. I'm going to go for a clean knockoff right now. Fully expecting them to switch into something else. So they withdraw the Gardevoir, which is fine. Um, we expected this. Let's go for a knockoff on whatever they bring in. They bring in the Quagsire. So getting rid of the Quagsire's potential leftovers or Rocky Helmet... It's going to be pretty useful. So there we go. Knockoff comes through. It does a nice bit of damage as well. We knock off their Citrus Berry, which is interesting. So that's great to know. And now we can freely go for a Psychic Fangs if we really want to. Because based on that knockoff damage, I'd say they probably go for... Um, I'd say Psychic Fangs is a good good shot here. Because um, they probably go for a Stealth Rocks anyway or a Spike. So I'm going to go for a Psychic Fangs now. Psychic Fangs comes through. Clean down our damage on the Quagsire. They go for the Stealth Rocks as expected. Now... They pretty much have to switch out the Quagsire. Um, but what do they go into? That's the real question. They haven't really got a lot to take a Psychic Fangs other than the Iron Treads, which can't really switch in. We could have Earthquake for all they know. So I'm just going to go for another Psychic Fangs. I don't want to mess around with the Quagsire. I'd like, I'd rather get rid of it if I can do. So Psychic Fangs go through. Yeah, they just let the Quagsire go down, which makes sense. So they got the Stealth Rocks up, which is good for them. But we got rid of the Quagsire, which is great. So our Mono Blue team got rid of one of their only blue Pokemon, which is quite funny. Well, not really, but, you know, anyway, Cinderace comes in. So, this thing is pyroballing us in the face, or it might try and burn us one of the two. So, I do want to go into Chandelure, because they can't suck a punch on a switch anyway, so we may as well go Chandelure right now. So, there we go. Withdrawing our Metagross. We're going to go into our Chandelure, like so. And there is a good chance these things have suck a punch on them. Suck a punch on them. And um, Stealth Frogs are going to dig in, which is unfortunate. They do go for a bounce. Okay. I've not seen Bounce and Cinderace. That's interesting. So, Blitzer, you are very interesting today. So, they're going to go for a Bounce. We should definitely switch out into... I'm, I'm leaning towards Glimora to get the Stealth Rocks up because that kind of forces them to go into the uh, Iron Treads. And we could do some stuff there. So, I think I will go into Glimora right now because I know Glimora can take a Bounce, no problem. Glimora can 100% take a Bounce, no problem. So, we're going to Gita, the uh, shiny Glimora. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. Pointed stones do the game, breaking off focus dash, but that's fine. They go for a bounce. And that is going to sell some toxic spikes, which is great. So they're probably going to expect a mortal spin here. A mortal spin would come through to get rid of the stealth rocks, right? So they're more than likely going to the iron tread. So I'm going to smack that thing in the face of an earth power on the switch in. So they go for an earth power. They actually stay in and they get out sped. So this is a slow cinderace, a bulky cinderace, because it took that really well. And um, they go for the pyro ball, and that's going to sell up the toxic spikes once again. Toxic Debris come through. Now, they really won't switch into an Earth Power with the Iron Treads. If anything, they go uh, Gyarados. So, I'm going to finish this thing off with a Mortal Spin since we outspeed. Mortal Spin comes through. Doesn't take out the Cinderace, but it does poison them, obviously. Um, and we get rid of the Stealth Rocks as well, which is great. Um, but they obviously take us out of a Pyro Ball this turn. So, they go for a Reversal. Oh, they're a Reversal set. Interesting. Okay, so 
Now that they're low on HP, they would be a threat with reversal, but they are poisoned, so they are going to go down. As down they go. So we didn't get to get our stealth rocks up, but we definitely got up two layers of toxic spikes, which is going to be really useful for the likes of the Gardevoir. So that's great. And the, and the uh, Dragapult as well. So well, now what do we do? So they probably, if I had to guess, go into Iron Treads. I think I'm going to go Shandy because it's Scarf and outspeeds everything on the team. Unless the Scarf's on like Gardevoir or Dragapult. I don't think they'll be Scarf Dragapult, but you know, it's whatever. So Iron Treads comes in. This thing probably wants to go for a Earthquake on us. I think if... Oh, wait. Quark Drive. Is that going to be speed? Attack. Oh, thank God. No, no speed, no speed, no speed. Let's go for a Fire Blast. We have speed. We may as well. They may go into Gyarados. If they go into Gyarados, that's fine. They're going to Terror. What type are they going to Terror into, though? That's the real question right now. That is the real question right now. Ground. Okay, so they're no longer weak to the Steel-type move because of their Terror Ground, which is fine. I still think the Fire Blast does a lot of damage if we can hit it. We do hit it, which is nice. And it does a clean 75%. They go for an EQ, though, boosted by Terra. There's no chance in heck my Chandler is taking this. But this is a good opportunity for us. Why is this a good opportunity, you ask? They have a Gyarados, a Terra Ground Iron Treads, a Dragapult, and a, and a Gardevoir left. I think it's time for Greninja to come in. I really think it's time for Greninja to come in. So we'll go Zabuza. We will go for an Ice Beam. And we are Terra Electric on this um, Greninja, which means we can take out that Gyarados, no problemo. They withdraw the Iron Treads. They're not going to let us get that Battle Bond just yet. And they're going to go into the Gyarados. So Gyarados comes in. That's fine. They won't, like, no one ever expects the Terra Electric on the Greninja. And the Terra Electric is there purely to hit stuff like Toxapex, uh, Gyarados, Dondozo, for example. Oh, I'm Terra Water. Oh, no. I forgot to go to the restaurant to change it. That's annoying. So that's anticlimactic. <laughs> I was really sat there like, yeah, we're going to Terror Electric on this thing. No. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> anyway, let's go into good old Salamence with the Intimidate. Intimidate's Gyarados, so if he goes for a Dragon Dance, it's not too big of a threat. There we go. Dracorex comes in. I'll have to get that changed for the next battle. I'll nip to that restaurant and get it changed to Terror Electric. So um, Dragon Dance comes through. That's a shame, because if we had Terra Electric, we could have easily taken out this Gyarados right now. And then we would have got the Battle Bond. Wouldn't be able to take out the Iron Treads, the Dragapult, probably the Guard of War, because we have Terra Electric, so we can take a Moonblast. But not now. Not now. Anyway, do we Terra Steel? I think we Terra Steel. I think we Terra Steel Jewel. I think we Terra Steel Dragon Dance. I think that's what we do here. We Terra Steel Dragon Dance, and then we go for a Jewel Wing Beat. And that should take out the Gyarados. Should. It's a big should. Because they, they might go for an Ice Fang here, which is what I'm worried about. An Ice Fang from a Gyarados at plus one speed. I don't want it to get the Moxie boost, you know? So they go for a Dragon... Well, we go for a Dragon and we still outspeed, which is amazing. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> How do we still outspeed the Gyarados? Are we playing at level 100? No, we're not. Scale Shot, and they miss! Oof. That's unfortunate. We would have still outsped, though, as we've already seen. So let's go for a dual wing beat anyway. That's going to take out the Gyarados, hopefully. Oh, it's going to be close. No, it's not. Never mind. Gyarados goes down. Boom. Love it. In comes the Dragapult, which is fine. It's going to get poisoned. No heavy duty boots for them, which is great for us because it means if we don't finish off here, we can still finish off afterwards. I'm just looking at the power. I think we're better off going for the Iron Head anyway. So let's go for the Iron Head like so. Boosted by Terra. It should do a lot of damage to the Drag uh, Dragapult. It won't KO it, though. No, it doesn't KO, see. As uh, they go for a Phantom Force. Which is definitely going to do a lot to my uh, Salamence. But, it's not the end of the world. We can go for another Dragon Dance right now, since we're going to outspeed. There we go. Another Dragon Dance comes through. I'm pretty confident we can take a Phantom Force from this thing. No problem. And then the Sucker Punch is afterwards, if need be. Um, but they go for that Phantom Force. Oh, wow. That does a lot of damage. Are they banded? They've got to be banded, right? I don't know. Either way, they go down um, to the poison. So now, Salamence is sat plus two, plus two. And I'm pretty sure that's the game. But, you know, they could still have something like um, priority move or something. So Iron Treads come in. Pretty confident the Iron Treads can't take a Iron Head. Pretty confident. And we don't have to worry about the Gardevoir. Unless the Gardevoir is like... Unless the Gardevoir is Sash, we don't have to worry. So let's go for the Iron Head. 
The only thing we're gonna worry about is the God of War can have, um... There we go, the yeah, Iron go down. The God of War can trace or intimidate and then intimidate us. But I'm pretty confident we can still take it out of an Iron Head anyway, a plus one attack. Pretty confident, pretty confident. Okay, in comes the God of War like so. Nice and shiny, gotta love it. Salamence comes through with the sweep. I love Salamence, so I'm really happy I get to do a Salamence thumbnail. But there's the Intimidate look on the, uh, the God of War. Gotta love it. Strats. Um, we go for the Iron Head, though. That definitely takes out the uh, God of War, no doubt. So there we go. Iron Head comes through. And bam! The God of War goes down. So GG Blitzer, that was a pretty fun one. Nice to see Salamence putting in some work. And uh, nice to see the Mono Blue team putting work as well. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, GG Blitzer. And we have ourselves a bonus battle. Today we're having a bonus battle versus Ron from the Discord server in the Smogon Overuse tier. They've got a pretty friendly looking team. I changed the Greninja to be Terror Electric. So that's coming clutch against the Aloma Mola or the Primarina, which is going to be good. I really think Greninja could shine in this one. Stick around to the end for the rental code for the team. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Ron. So they're going to lead off with Primarina as I expected. Ha ha ha. As I led off with my Ogre Pond. Uh, yeah, that's two games in a row I've actually led off with the right lead. I'm getting better at predicting leads. Like, I've been practicing those on Showdown. I'm definitely getting better. So, anyway, they probably don't want to stay in here. They more than likely go Gouging Fire or Como. But I'm going to go for the Horn Leech anyway. They do withdraw. Are they going to go Como? Because we have speed Como, we can go for a U-turn anyway. They do go Como, which is great. So, we get a bit of chip damage on that, which is always nice. It's just going to be a little bit of chip damage, but chip damage nonetheless. There we go. And then we can just go for a U-turn. Now, we could have Play Rough for all they know, so they may switch or Terra here. But they don't. They don't. They're just straight up being ballsy. We go for a U-turn. They switch them switch out. And then they're more than likely going to go for a Clang or a Soul here. And then get the Throat Spray boost if they're that set. So I've got to be careful with what I do here. I'm leaning towards the Metagross. I'm leaning towards the Salamence to get the Intimidate off. But if they're special, it's going to be a bit redundant. Um, let's go Metagross. I think Metagross is a fine choice. So I'll bring Metagross in like so. And then we can go for Psychic Fangs. They go for a Clangorous Soul, which is really scary. Very scary. Are they going to be uh, Throat Spray? So they're going to get that Omni Boost, and then they're probably going to get Throat Spray after that. So that's terrifying. The Como is terrifying right now. But we do have the Glimora in the back, which can definitely you do an Earth Power to this thing. Um, or something like that. So they have got the, all right, so they've got the Special Attack Boost. Question is, do we Terra here? Or because are they going to go for a Fighting Time move? Special fighting item move. Or they're going to go for a flamethrower. Um, I'm going to go for a bullet punch. Because they're normally soundproof anyway. So you can't draw them out. Do we go for a bullet punch? They are soundproof by the looks of it. Not bulletproof. Unless bulletproof doesn't block against bullet punch. I don't know why it wouldn't. Um, but anyway, the flamethrower does take it down. It's crit. Not sure that mattered. It probably doesn't because they're a plus two special attack. And I'm a metagross steel type. So probably didn't matter. But anyway, we have got the Glimora in the back with the Focus Sash. Which is going to be clutch here. And um, we could also, yeah, I think I think Glimora is the way to go here. So let's go Glimora. We'll go for an Earth Power straight away. And if they Terra Flying or something, or Terra Grass or something to block Earth Power, then I'm going to be really annoyed, but it's whatever. So let's go for an Earth Power first and foremost. They go for a Clanging Scales. It's definitely going to take us down to our Sash. Like that. But it lowers their defenses, not that it matters. And we go for an Earth Power, which hopefully takes them out. It does take them out. So Como is no longer a threat. It was a threat. It took out Metagross and it nearly took out Glimora, but not anymore. And what's great here is that uh, Glimora actually outspeeds pretty much their entire team. So we can either Mortal Spin this Aloma Mola or we can Stealth Rocks. I'm looking at their team. They've got Great Tuscan Torterra, which aren't weak to Stealth Rocks at all. Um, I'm more inclined to get the Poison on this thing. So I think I will go for a Mortal Spin here. So Mortal Spin comes through because there's always the chance to go for a Flip Turn as well. And like activate our Toxic Debris, which would be really nice. But I doubt it. They probably go for a Scold. Oh no, the Rocky Helmet anyway, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, the Rocky Helmet. So anyway, there we go. We go down to the Mortal Spin. There you go for a Scold. Not going to work. We got the Poison on the Aloma Mola, which is going to be really clutch for us. So um, I don't want to bring my Green Ninja in now because that might make them a bit suspicious of the set. So instead, I'm going to go... I want to go Chandelure and Energy Ball because their whole team doesn't take appreciate an Energy Ball except from the Gouging Fire. But I'm leaning towards, towards Ogre Pond. So I'm going to go into Ogre Pond, Ogre Pond Wellspring. Got old Majora over here. And I want to go for a Swords Dance. Because they can't touch us. They can't Flip Turn. They can't Scold. 
I think I'm going to Swords Dance here. I think Swords Dance is the way to go. So they withdraw the Aloma Mola. They know they can't flip turn. They know they can't take a Horn Leech necessarily. Well, they probably can take one. And they're going to go into Nair, which is going to be what? Gouging Fire? Great Tusk. We go for a Swords Dance, though. And we are now a big threat. A very big threat, in fact. So we go for a Ivy Cudgel here, just to get as much damage as possible off. If they go for a Terra Water, that's going to be unfortunate. Um, but they don't. We go for the Ivy Cudgel. Can they take this, though? No, they cannot. No, they cannot. As Ogre Pond comes through. In comes the Torterra, which is fine. This thing's probably going to Terra right now. It's just a matter of what does it Terra into, and it could Shell Smash. So we have to be very careful what we do here. Um, if they're going to Terra, they're probably going to Terra Steel. Or Rock, or Fire. So I'm going to go for the Ivy Cudgel. They do Terrastalize. What type are they going to go for? I'm hoping they go for Fire to um, resist the Horn Leech, and then they just get Ivy Cudgeled. Water? I mean, that makes sense. It's a good defensive typing. I should have gone for a Horn Leech. Damn. So they, they're going to take this Ivy Cudgel like a champ. Boom. Oh, he still does over half to it, though. That's crazy. And there's the Shell Smash. So Torterra Shell Smash is in my face. What is it with this this game? Just self after self. Como, Clangor Assault, Eggpon, Swords Dance, Torterra, then Shell Smashes. Now, what's next? <laughs> I'm going to bring Salamence in just to get an Intimidate off. I feel like that's going to be beneficial to us, getting the Intimidate off. They more than likely go straight for the attack on the Ogre Pond, so I'm not expecting another Shell Smash. So we get the Intimidate off, which is great. They then go for a Bullet Seed, which is going to do note to Salamence. Absolutely note. They hit all five times as well, but it's not very effective, so it doesn't do any damage at all. Um, now we can safely assume they're going to go for a Rock Blast, so I kind of want to go back into Ogre Pond, but at the same time... I want to go for a Drill Wing Beat just in case they Shell Smash again. So I think I'll Drill Wing Beat right now. Um, they go for a Rock Blast though. Fair enough. That's going to definitely take us out. I suppose I could have Terra Steeled there, but... Salamence isn't super useful against the team. Like, Gouging Fire, if we Terra Steel, we're just weak to Gouging Fire. The Pre-Marina, we can't touch anyway. Eloma Merlo, we can't touch. So I don't think it's a wise play to do that. So I'm leaning more towards now going for either the Ogre Pond. No, because they'll bullet seed us or chandelier. I think chandelier is the best play because we're scarfed, so we could potentially outspeed them. They more than likely go for a rock blast here. So do we Terra Grass? Energy Ball? They have got like Aloma Mola and Pre Marina left, so that could be really useful to us. I don't want to risk you know, I don't want to risk Rock Blast KOing us. If we Terra Grass, Rock Blast might not KO us because they're only at plus one attack then. They probably still are at KO was anyway, but they might go for an Earthquake as well. Let's go for the Terra Grass Energy Ball. See how that goes for us. So there we go. We're going to Terrestrialize into a Grass type, like so. I'm starting to think maybe I should have Terra Steeled my Salamance. Just to get rid of the Torterra threat. But it's fine. We'll, we'll work around it. So they go for an EQ. Oh, that's great. That's great. They actually went for the EQ. They didn't want to risk missing the Rock Blast because Rock Blast has a chance to miss. So they went for the EQ. We got them off guard with the Terra. So that's great. So there we go. Terra Grass Energy Ball comes through. Torterra goes down. Absolutely fantastic work by Chandler, I will say. So I'm looking at the rest of their team and I'm thinking, you know what? If we had if we had managed to save the Terra for Greninja, we would be alright. Because we could Terra Electric, but we can't now. So Gouging Fire comes in. I haven't faced the Gouging Fire in ages, weirdly. Like, weirdly, weirdly. Because I normally play OU Mix, so people aren't tending to bring them. Um, but anyway, we should definitely switch out here. They may go for a Dragon Dance. They may go for a Dragon Dance. They may go for a Dragon Dance. I had to say it three times just because that's exactly what they're going to do, probably. So we don't want to stay in. I'd say our best bet is going to be Greninja here. Because at the end of the day, if they go for a Heat Crash to take out Chandelure, because we might not be Scarf, we might go for a Shadow Ball here. So let's go into Zabuza. They go for the Dragon Dance. Okay, so they are a big threat right now. Very big threat right now. They have the Protosynthesis boost already. And they've got a Dragon Dance. Big threat. Let's go for a Hydro Pump. That's all we can really do here. They go for an Outrage. Okay, so the Outrage is coming through. Takes us out cleanly. This may be a gadget. This, this game is just self after self after self after self from both, both sides, which is hilarious. Um, so let's go Shandy. Let's see if we outspeed with our Choice Scarf. I don't think we do, but Gouging Fire is not the fastest Pokemon in the world. I can't actually remember what boost it, boost it got in the Protosynthesis. Let's check. Let's go for a Shadow Ball. They do outspeed us still, unfortunately. Go for an Outrage. Chandelure goes down. 
And unfortunately, it looks like they have got a three turn outrage instead of a two turn outrage. So they're not going to get confused here, which is really unfortunate. I don't have protect or anything either. So we just go for an Ivy Cudgel here and hope for the best. But outrage definitely takes us out. Yep, there we go. So G, G Ron, that was a pretty fun one. Nice little gouging fire mini sweep for you there. Um, then they get confused. Now they get confused. Great. Just great. But yeah, GG Ron, GG Ron. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to. Use the code of the Torah icon on the screen. Let me know how it goes if you do use it. I want to hear your success stories. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.